Hi guys, good evening. How are you all? Market really, really recovered from the bottom. What a massive, massive uh, recovery. But, you know, at the same time, such a huge, huge, you know, correction in so many stocks. So there are some excellent stocks which are available at a very, very cheap valuation. Bohut sare aise stocks hain aur bohut achhe stocks hain jo aapko ek cheap valuation pe abhi available hai. So aaj main ek aise stock ki baat karungi jo ki abhi 50 to week low pe hai. Right? Aur isne kam se kam 30 to 40% correction kiya aur maybe 50% correction kiya hai apne high November mein jo isne high lagaya tha. Aur ab kya hai is samay pe ye ek bohut ek is jagah pe khada hua hai jahan pe isme ek shandar recovery expect ki ja sakti hai. So, I am talking about stock hai, endurance tech, right? And I would request you people to please hear me out till the end. Because see, if you have any opinion, if I am giving you an opinion, and you have to make your own opinion, then you have to listen to me, my Paksh. What do I want to say? And if you agree with it or not, you will have to tell me in your comments. So, please, you know, listen to me till the end and then you write it in the comment box in case you have something else to share about it. So here we go. The company is basically endurance tech. This is the best proxy to play growth in two wheelers uh, segment, right? So uh, basically it's an auto ancillary and this is company endurance tech. So this presentation is by me. I'm Dr. Seema Jain. I'm your host right now. And I'm Sebi Registered Research Analyst, Founder and Chief Mentor at Stock Pro, Partner with Zerodha, Upstocks, Fires and Asta Trade. So here we go with our understanding about the uh, particular stock. So basically what is happening, the highlights of this particular uh, uh, stock is the rising raw material prices, semiconductor chip shortage, and why this particular stock fell. So we are on um, trading view and I'm showing you the endurance tech graph. If you have a look, you know, in November, on you know, November 18th, 8, stock made a high of 1990, right? And after that, it has made a low of 1090, almost like 900 points drop, almost like 45% correction, you can say. And this is a huge, huge correction in a good valuation company, right? So this is how it stands, you know, like continuously it's been falling down on a regular basis. But after, you know, the day before's fall, Monday's fall, it looked to be stagnant. It looks to be ready. It's lo it looks to be poised and ready to move in the upward direction. So why this basically, why was such a significant fall that came into the stock? So the first reason is the rising cost of raw material. Second reason is semiconductor chip shortage, right, which impacted the financial performance. The third is um, now what is going to make it better? What supports this stock at this point of time? First is their strong order pipeline, and that gives the earnings visibility. If we see stock ka order pipeline jo hai, agar strong, hoga, to earnings jo hai, wo improve. Hongi. New businesses, addition of product key growth triggers so they have done they have acquired a lot of new businesses right and then they have added more products so this is they're just not relying on one or two products they've added more products trades at significant discount at long-term average valuation so that means the the stock is very very reasonably available so endurance tech the current market price is 1140 the current market cap is 15680 it's a pretty large cap company. The stock price has fallen almost like 43%. I have all discussed it with you. And the reason could be, you know, the chip shortage, the raw material shortage, or even the European market was not very supportive. So the company is a global force in aluminum casting, including alloy wheels, suspension, transmission, and breaking products. You know, like this is kind of a monopoly company. It's a global leader. Right, this company is globally lead karti hai, aluminum casting, mein, alloy wheels, ke liye, or suspension, transmission, and braking products. Ke liye. Right, but as we had the semiconductor uh, uh, chip was basically uh, in, in scarcity, there semiconductor chip nahi available, thi, plus uh, raw material was expensive, and Europe had no demand. Nahi thi, 
उसके चलते स्टॉक हैज करेक्टेड क्वाइट अ बिट सो इफ यू लुक एट एट द रेवेन्यू तो ईयर 2022 अभी तक Q3 में 1889 करोस रेवेन्यूज हैव बीन जनरेटेड एंड ईयर 2021 में इट वाज 2040 राइट रॉ मटेरियल कॉस्ट हैज सिग्निफिकेंटली गॉन अप कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स रॉ मटेरियल कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स हैज गॉन अप राइट सो आई वुड skip this i'll take you to some more important parameters so uh, i have already discussed that the uh, why you know the endurance tech corrected right now geographically the india business outperformed the european business as europe faced severe shortage of semiconductor chips leading to a decline in car production the india business revenue is about 78.8% of the total revenue right which declined 2.6% year on year basis while the european business is about 21.2% of the total revenue declined 22% so the decline in the indian indian business was almost like 10% of what declined in the um, european market the ebitda margins have been contracted uh, and uh, where is 590 uh, basis point where is the same in european business it's uh, contracted by 860 bps let me go further now why this particular stock or why this particular industry looks promising so endurance tech generates most of india's business revenue from its two wheeler segment and has a very strong position on the back of its technologically advanced product range it is therefore the best proxy to play the growth in the two wheeler segment it is important to highlight that despite the 23% year on year decline in the two wheeler industry the company registered a meager revenue decline you know jo product the basic product itself is declining year on year basis but the company is not declining with the same same rate and driven by the market share gains and the new product so how endurance tech ne apna share kaise itna stable rakha hai uska reason ye hai ki unhone ek to market share gain kiya hai and dusra reason ye hai ki naye naye products wo log leke aaye The management has highlighted that the long-term outlook of the segment continues to be encouraging for India business, as it is evident from the order schedule. So the management believes that the company will grow because they have a huge order lined up. And then he says that the Europe business, however, continues to struggle. So that is fine. Now what they have done, they have added new products in their businesses. So we expect Endurance Tech to perform, outperform the industry by acquiring new clients. and increasing its share of wallet from existing client for india business it has acquired new businesses worth 345 crores in q3 of year 22 financial year 2022 which include ev order worth 139 crore from atheron polarity further the company continues to focus on higher value added products which include brake and clutch assembly for 200 cc mobike etc and the, despite the weakness in the european market the company has received new businesses worth european euro 43.6 million right for the q3 so overall you know the pipeline is robust for this particular company which is endurance tech so what matters is the management the vision of the management and the whether they have order flow order book or not right the margins have improved right the management is focusing on cost efficiency again another important point the management is focusing on the cost efficiencies higher value added products and import substitution to improve its operating margins endurance tech has acquired two companies to get the required technology and capabilities to make new products right and then valuations the, so this is again a very very important point for us to know because endurance tech is now trading at 21.7 times the financial year 23 projected earnings which is at a 32% discount from its 5 years average value of 32 so the p value the uh, the projected earnings that should be actually 32 at this point of time it's just trading at 21.7 which makes it a very very uh you know undervalued stock right it's av- available on a very very cheap and very um you know over your century close to its intrinsic value so we believe the current valuation is reasonable if the company stellar financial track record we advise investors we can you know keep accumulating right 
So just to conclude the whole thing, net sales, if you see from year on year basis, they have gone up, right? From 6,500 to 7,500 to 9,000. EBITDA has also gone up and EBITDA margins have been stable. Net profits have gone up. Net profit margins have gone up. Current market cap and price to earning ratio, right? So the valuations are very, very, uh, you know, attractive at this point of time. Now, there is risk, right? Why there is a risk? There could be a slowdown in European markets or it could be, you know, entire world may go through a recession because of the Russia-Ukraine war. And if that happens, then nothing can stop. You know, company may further go down. So you have to do your um, investment in a staggered manner. Buy some quantity, add some more quantity after some time, and so on and so forth. Gradually, you can keep accumulating, right? So this is what I wanted to present. And to just to give you a heads up, I have also entered into this particular stock. And um, in case you want to reach out to my team or you want to join me on the Telegram where I'm super active from morning or you want to follow me on Twitter, you want to WhatsApp and find out about the course or etc. You can get in touch with my team. So I'm going to show you. I have also purchased today some some quantity I have bought some 300 quantity here. You can see I have bought 300 quantity at 1146 and I do plan to you know accumulate more if it goes down till about 1080 and if it in case it goes further down to 1080 i'm going to accumulate some more at 980 right so this is how i will be staggering my uh, investment in this particular stock and i'm expecting what am i expecting from this stock right so what i'm expecting a target till about 1500 is what i'm expecting and the time duration for that uh, price is almost like six months that I'm expecting. And once, or, or, see, I'm giving a very broader perspective. You know, it may take lesser than that. It may take one or two months, right? If market gives a very sharp recovery, it may take lesser than that. And if it crosses 1500, then I'm definitely expecting it to go till about 1700. So these are my projections for the stock. And um, I have discussed the entire uh, you know, uh, how will I be accumulating it? I've already started accumulating it. And please do your own risk and reward, uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding and management. And before you uh, enter into the stock, it's not a financial advice to anybody. It's just an explanation. In case you want to enter into the stock, please discuss it with your financial advisor and take it, his view or her view. And I'm sure you'll be able to make good money. So all the best guys, take care and remain connected. Bye-bye, see you.